What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something absolutely incredible. Building a state-of-the-art airship, like for real this time. You guys know I'm obsessed with all things flight and airships. Well, they're like the majestic giants of the sky. We're going to break down the science, the tech and everything in between to show you how to design and build your very own airship. Get ready to explore the fascinating world of lighter-than-air aeronautics. This is going to be epic. All right, before we launch into building our airship, we got to nail down the design. And this is where things get interesting. We're not talking about your grandpappy's blimp here. We're talking next level cutting edge airship design. First things first, efficiency. We want our airship to sip helium like a hummingbird sips nectar. That means thinking about lightweight materials, aerodynamic shapes, and maybe even incorporating some cool biomimicry like, have you ever seen a bird that's not aerodynamic? And of course, we gotta keep it green. Sustainability is key. We'll be looking at renewable energy sources like solar panels to power our airship and minimize our environmental impact. Remember, we're trying to save the world here, one airship at a time. Now, let's get our nerd on and talk physics. Don't worry, I promise to make it as painless as possible. When it comes to airships, it's all about buoyancy, lift, and drag. Buoyancy is our best friend. It's the upward force that keeps our airship from, well, plummeting back to Earth. Think of it like this. When you put something in water, it either sinks or floats, right? Same thing in the air, except instead of water, we're dealing with, you guessed it, air. Lift is all about generating enough upward force to overcome gravity. We get lift from the shape of our airship, kind of like how an airplane wing generates lift. And finally, we've got drag, which is the resistance our airship faces as it moves through the air. We want to minimize drag as much as possible to make our airship super efficient. All right, let's talk about the heart of our airship, the helium envelope. Helium is our magic ingredient, the stuff that makes our airship lighter than air. It's like the pixie dust of the aviation world. Helium is a noble gas, which means it's super stable and doesn't react with other elements. That's important because we don't want our airship spontaneously combusting mid-flight. Plus, helium is non-flammable, which is always a good thing when you're dealing with anything airborne. Now, to keep that precious helium from escaping, we need a super strong and lightweight envelope. This is where material science comes in. We're talking about high-tech fabrics coated with special materials to make them gas-tight and durable enough to withstand the elements. All right. Let's talk about powering our airship, because even majestic giants of the sky need a little juice to stay afloat. And what better way to do that than with the power of the sun? We're going to integrate solar panels directly into the surface of our airship's envelope. These aren't your average rooftop solar panels, though. We're talking about flexible, lightweight solar cells that can conform to the curve shape of our airship. The energy collected by these panels will power our onboard systems, like the motors, lights, and navigation equipment. Plus, any excess energy can be stored in batteries for later use. Talk about sustainable flying. Solar panel integration, flexible solar cells, and energy storage solutions are key to making this vision a reality. We've got lift, we've got power. Now we need to make sure our airship can actually fly and not just float around like a giant inflatable banana. This is where aerodynamics and dynamic control come in. Remember that drag we talked about earlier? Well, the shape of our airship plays a huge role in minimizing drag. We want a streamlined design that allows air to flow smoothly over the surface, reducing resistance. But it's not just about the shape. We also need a way to control our airship's movement. That's where rudders, elevators, and thrusters come in. These control surfaces allow us to steer, adjust altitude, and maneuver with precision. Now here's where things get really interesting. We're going to incorporate gliding mechanisms into our airship design, taking inspiration from those masters of the sky, birds. By harnessing the power of lift and utilizing specialized airfoils, we can enable our airship to glide efficiently, conserving energy and extending its range. Think of it like a flying hydrofoil, cutting through the air with minimal resistance. This gliding capability opens up a whole new world of possibilities for airship travel, allowing us to cover vast distances with minimal energy consumption. It's like hitching a ride on a thermal updraft and soaring effortlessly across the sky. 
Hold on tight because we're about to blast off into the future of lighter-than-air aeronautics. The field is evolving rapidly, with new technologies emerging all the time. One exciting development is the use of autonomous navigation systems. Imagine an airship that can fly itself, using sensors, GPS and artificial intelligence to navigate safely and efficiently. Talk about a smooth ride. We're also seeing advancements in materials science, with lighter, stronger and even more durable materials being developed specifically for airship applications. These advancements translate into safer, more efficient and longer-lasting airships. And there you have it, guys. We just broke down the science, the tech and the pure awesomeness of building a modern airship. I hope this video inspired you to learn more about the incredible world of lighter-than-air aeronautics. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of flight, hit that like button and subscribe for more epic engineering adventures. Until next time, remember the sky's the limit when it comes to innovation. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll be exploring the wild world of flying cars. Could they be the future of transportation? We'll find out soon.